So I want to ask you a question. How much would you pay for a $200 a month income stream? So just assume I can give you $200 a month every single month, no risk. Okay? So what I want to do is I want to do an auction of how much you would pay. So who's going to give me the first bid? $2,400. Who's going to give me $25? $2,400 sold. $2,500? $2,500. Who's going to give me $2,600? $2,600. Who's going to give me $2,700? $2,700. Who's going to give me $2,800? $2,800. What are you thinking right now? What are you thinking? I'm telling you, I'm putting $200 a month in your bank account every month. No, no, I'm putting it in your bank account. I'm putting $200 a month in your bank account every month. Oh, oh, how long will you get your money back? Sorry, okay. How many of you are thinking, how long will it take for me to get my money back? Put your hands up. Put your hands up if you're thinking, how long will it take for me to get my money back? Put your hands up, nice and high. Look around the room. This is why you're going to make a fortune on the internet using this strategy. Who gets that? Most of you are thinking this. And if you think something different, are you going to get different results, yes or no? Yeah, massively different. So let's say, who, who bid $2,800? What's your name, sir? David. Okay, so we're going to say David paid $2,800 for this website. Okay, so we'll just stop it there for a second. If you're going to invest in the stock market, okay, how much would you have to invest in the stock market to get $200 a month of dividends at a 5% yield? Who can do the maths? Who can do the maths? It's $48,000. David, are you feeling pretty good right now? Yeah, you're feeling brilliant, right? David's invested $2,800, and someone in the stock market's invested $48,000. Who's getting the exponential value of what I'm talking about? It's huge, isn't it? Yeah. Most people were thinking what you were thinking. It can't be real. You know, what is this? But people are spending $48,000 in equity on the ASX, getting 5% from the Telstras, the Woodside Petroleum, the Rio Tintos, the Sonic Healthcare, the Cochlears, the Aristocrat Leisure, 5%. They have $48,000 invested, and they're making 200 bucks a month. How about in real estate? If you had a unit positively geared 200 bucks a month, how much would you have to invest in a unit? What's that, 200,000? It'd be a little bit more than that if it's positively geared. Wouldn't you agree? Right? Yeah, it'd be over 200,000, and if it was a car space in Sydney, it'd be over 100,000, right? Who's in real estate who can just confirm that that would be about the order of magnitude? Who's in real estate here? Right? Lydia, you can, yeah, you can confirm that. So what I'm talking to you about is something that you can get the exact same results for a fraction of the investment. How powerful do you think that would be? One of the things when you want to become a millionaire is a lot of people think that it takes millions to become a millionaire. Who thinks it takes millions to become a millionaire? It takes hundreds then thousands, and then tens of thousands, and then hundreds of thousands of dollars. And you put those together, you end up with a million dollars. It doesn't take a million dollars. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if all of a sudden we can show you a path to be able to do this and, and pay you $100 an hour to be able to learn this, do you think that would be powerful? Yeah, it would be massively exponential. So how do you get started? Well, you start with the fixer uppers, the training wheel websites. So you're going to start taking some notes. And the first note is the first step is you want to make $100 to $1,000 a month. That's the first step. There's no technical expertise required. And in our terminologies, you, you need to be a silver momentum membership level type person. The next step, or actually, this is what a fixer upper looks like, right? So you see the picture on the bottom and you fix it up to that. So you fix it up. The next site is one that you want to own and fix up. So in this house here, you never live in it. Does that make sense? 
you never live in it. You just fix it up and you sell it on. This one, however, you want to own and fix up. You want to take a house and make it into a home. And the goal here is to make 1000 to $2,000 a month. How many of you are surprised? I'm talking about the internet, and I'm not talking to you about making millions. Who's a little surprised? Yeah. Lots of people try to make millions on the internet. They don't succeed. But lots of people can make thousands and thousands of dollars a month and succeed. This is what something that you would own and fix up looks like. So to give you a metaphor. Then what you do is you take the bedroom and you fix it. So that's the before and that's the after. You take the living room. That's the before, that's the after. Then you take the kitchen and you do a makeover. Does that make sense? On the internet, it's the same thing. I'm going to show you the equivalent on the internet. But first, I want you to understand the equivalent in the real world. Does that make sense? The websites you want to buy, hold, fix up, and sell, these are different websites. Because you want to fix them up, you want to hold them, and then you want to sell them for capital gains. And here you're looking to make two to $3,000 a month. This is what they look like. They're units, apartments. Because now for the first time, there's a revenue component involved. For the first time. So far, so good? So then, you're going to have what's called a portfolio as an investor. These websites are completely different because these are the ones that you're going to keep and they're going to pay you a passive income. And when I'm talking about passive income, I'm talking about 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days, that the money just comes into your bank account without the exertion of your personal effort. Who would like to have that kind of income coming to your bank account? Yeah, I'm not talking about stock trading where you're buying and selling. We're not talking about any other business model that, it, that requires your personal exertion of effort. That's called an effort-based business model. This is value-based. So you take value and you make that work for you rather than you work for it. Does that make sense? 